Hello friends. In this video, I am going to show you how you can run Apache Solar as a Windows service so that you don't need to uh, open your command prompt uh, and start uh, start your uh, Apache Solar just typing uh, solar start and every time when you start your computer. So better way to uh, starting a uh, automatically starting your Apache Solar instance by running it as a Windows service. So I am going to show you how we can achieve this. Let's uh, start with uh, uh, st uh, running the this uh, uh, Solar as a Windows service. So first go to Google and uh, search for an SSM then you will get this link open this page it is a non sucking service manager so let's download whatever uh, it has released so it has a release uh, 2.24 so click here to download this zip file open this unzip it here and uh, see uh, what is inside here open it has two exe files one for windows 32 uh, bit operating system and uh, other for uh, 64 bit operating system so as my uh, my system is a 60 bit uh, sorry 60 bit for uh, 64 bit uh, uh, operating system i'm going to use this uh, exe file so first let's uh, open uh, windows uh, command line interface uh, uh, c and d and run it as administrator so now let's uh, open uh, this location cd To, to run uh, to install the this as a solar as a windows service just type here and ssm exc after that install whatever service name you want to uh, give your uh, windows service so in this case let's uh, let me give it name as a solar tutorial tutorial 6 when you uh, enter this command and it will open a dialog of a an SSM service installer so in the first tab that is the application tab you need to give what is what is the script path and what is the script file so in my case as in my last video uh, I have move to uh, this folder on my d drive so here is and this is the bin directory so let me copy this uh, and give it path here and after that what is the cmd file yeah this one this is the path of the script and uh, its script uh, file itself and what is the starting directory so this is the our startup directory and uh, what starts so basically after this command what we type to start just we do start right and uh, it's a start uh, our uh, solar instance right but uh, here you can uh, need to provide f basically this option hy hyphen f option is refer to run start this uh, solar uh, solar uh, instance in foreground mode Be if we don't provide the uh, f of hyphen f option it automatically automatically starts your uh, uh, solar instance uh, in background so because uh, why we need this f uh, uh, hyphen f for this uh, because uh, this uh, an ssm need to kill uh, or stop whenever it requires so 
unity provide this uh, option after that what are the port what is the port number you want to start so uh, hyphen p so let's uh, stick with the uh, default port that is 8983 right so as you can also hear that whatever the service name you have entered uh, here solar tutorial 6 uh, it is showing here so it is the service name right uh, so let's uh, change uh, what the uh, service display name and give some description also so we can say that uh, a uh, so, uh, solar simply solar tutorial 6 the, or you can give any name whatever you are suitable or you can uh, say that um, solar tutorial uh, for wind uh, videos any name you can give right so for now, uh, let's uh, stick with the uh, solar tutorial six and uh, give some description. So description is uh, this. This is the service. Uh, uh, service. This is the service uh, to start a Apache Solar six for my project. Uh, like videos game so what is the startup type you can also select you can so let let uh, leave it as it is and uh, that's it uh, you just after that you need to just click this button install service yeah so you can see that uh, service has been installed successfully so So, but before we, it is installed, but it's, it doesn't started yet. So let's let me verify, uh, look whether it is actually uh, installed or not. It is installed, but whether uh, uh, solar is started or not. No, as you can see, when I uh, uh, typing this uh, sol local host uh, uh, 8983, uh, it is uh, not uh, showing anything. It's showing that uh, cannot be reached, right? So let's now move to uh, our service manager that is a Windows service manager. Uh, so service type and here open it. So somewhere here you can see the solar tutorial 6. Yeah. So whatever description you have given here it is there. So let's see what is the properties. So whatever the description you have given what is the exe file the location of that NSME exe file that will start your and also what is the service name that you have given right and what is the display name so currently it is uh, installed successfully but uh, but solar hasn't started yet so you need to start so uh, as you can also it has a mode uh, start type so it is automatic so you can have different options uh, like uh, automatic uh, delay uh, or manual or disabled you whatever you want to use uh, so currently let it uh, let stick with the uh, auto automatic so now let's start this service so as i told you it is not starting right uh, our uh, solar instance is not running so now let's start this service uh, so now it has been started success, uh, successfully right it's running so our solar instance is running successfully so let's let me check here uh, you can check from using the that script that is a uh, solar uh, solar script file with the status but uh, let me verify from here yeah it's running fine right so it's uh, so basically why you need this actually the another, another benefit is that uh, the first benefit uh, obviously whenever you log in uh, when, you use, when you log into your system it will automatically start this uh, uh, solar uh, instance right uh, but another benefit is also that uh, what happens that uh, whenever you are starts a solar service directly using this uh, uh, command prompt uh, when you close the you after starting this uh, solar when you close that 
command prompt it automatically also close uh, as soon as you close the command prompt it automatically uh, also cleans your uh, running instance solar running instance so that's why so let me show you that also so let's uh, let me first uh, uh, stop this one this service so now it's it has been stopped right so now let me uh, refresh this page again it is not reachable right so it has been stopped successfully so now close uh, let me close this one again so now what i am doing here uh, let's start manually so i am moving to this location uh, that is a tree drive right and uh, cd2 now let's start using uh, manually uh, solar start and uh, that's it right uh, so waiting up to 30 seconds to see solar running on port number 893 893 uh, so let's check whether it's started or not yeah it's, it's working right so let me rephrase again and again so everything is fine so what I am doing here now I am just closing this right I have closed my command prompt now refresh this page again now it's not uh, our uh, solar instance has been killed by uh, our command prompt right so it's not running uh, so that's why uh, it is the uh, this is the uh, another benefit of using uh, running solar as a uh, Windows service. So, or in Linux, definitely there's a, there's also a, a way to uh, actually they provide automatically. Uh, I think this one, uh, yeah, this one, install solar service. But this is for uh, uh, for a Linux uh, environment. Uh, so, so or Unix environments, right? So you need to use this uh, install uh, underscore solar underscore service to a uh, running solar as a uh, service on Linux, and, right? So, but Windows, we don't have such any such kind of script. So for that, we have used this uh, third party tool that is an uh, uh, SSM and installed uh, our solar as a Windows service. Uh, so now again, let me start uh, this uh, solar tutorial start so it has been start again it's running now let me uh, show you uh, again refresh yeah it's working again right so everything is fine so this is all for this video i hope you like this video and uh, uh, it will ha I, I i hope it will helpful to you so in the next video i will show you some tools the which you can use uh, with like a starting how you can start again stop uh, stopping a solar instance also uh, how can we start uh, uh, using that script file again uh, uh, whatever the script like we also we will create a code uh, so using that uh, uh, solar.cmd script file so in the next video i will give you this uh, this tutorial also okay thank you for watching uh, this video and uh, okay bye thanks